So first, I'm going to create the deployment for Redis. That's the easiest one uh, because it's just using the default image uh, for, for Redis on the Docker Hub. So I do kubectl. Uh, this time I'm going to use kubectl create deployment. So kubectl create deployment, Redis, dash dash image, Redis. This is almost the same thing as doing that with kubectl run, but I I want to introduce kubectl create deployment to kind of move away of kubectl run. Kubectl run was like the you know like the the training wheels when you learn how to to ride a bike, but now we don't do that anymore. Okay, so it tells me your deployment was created. So now behind the scenes there was a replica set created, the replica set created a pod, and now the pod is being scheduled on a node, and it, the, the Redis image is being pulled. Uh, and by the time I said all that, it's probably up and running. Uh, yep. It's here. Now that I have created Redis, I also need to create the four other components. So kubectl, create deployment, <coughs> uh, RNG. Dash dash image equal Docker points slash RNG colon V0.1. Okay. And then I do the same with hasher. And then walker. And web UI. And typically that's the good opportunity to do a little shell loop. That, that works just as well. So now all these pods uh, have been uh, scheduled on different nodes. Um, the images are being pulled. Uh, and if I do again like kubectl get pods, I see that all my pods are running. Okay. So let's look at the logs. If I do kubectl logs deploy slash worker, I get a bunch of errors here. Let's look a little bit closer at, at the error I get. Um, I see here connection error connecting to Redis name does not resolve. Yeah. If you you mean if you copy paste this, um, so then you you just need to set the registry on Roman variable and the tag. On Roman variable. Um, so if you if you if you created them and there is something invalid, for instance, um, there are two ways to fix that. One of them would be to edit the resource definition. Uh, we haven't seen exactly how to do that yet. We will see it shortly. But then I would the other option would be to delete the deployment and recreate it. Exactly, you have the kubectl delete deployment, and then you can put the name of the deployment you want to destroy. It. 